Hi guys, Jill here and I have a small haul as well as some things to show you that Terry, who's a paper lover here on YouTube, gave me when I went over to house, her house on Tuesday. Um, so let me just show you the things I picked up from Joann's. Um, they had some macrame beads for 50 cents and um, actually I use them to do little collages and then I hang a tassel through them. I haven't done them in years because this um, color is really hard to find and um, the dark ones are really hard to lighten up. So these, this is a Stampers Anonymous stamp that you put on tissue and then you glue it on after you've colored it and they come out really cool. And I have one hanging on my fan. Yep, I still have it there. Um, anyway, and then the Heidi Swap, the last die I didn't have from this collection was, um, I don't know if they have names. I didn't even look. Nope. Anyway, this was the last one. And then I didn't have the box that you put the um i guess the faux rolodex into um so i did pick up the box the memory decks so i guess they're rolodex memory decks whatever they're called um so i picked that up so i could do those up because i have the other shape of this and um i figured that would be fun to work with okay so then um michael's they still had a few of the $1.50 stamps in that, you know, side bin. And so I picked these up for 15 cents. So I figured that was worth it. And then they had some new $1.50 ones. So um, I could not resist these two. And I just thought they were really cute. And they might look cute on an envelope or even as a focal point. Who knows? And then they had that buy one, get one um, free special. And these were both $9.99, so I thought it was worth it. This is a Stampendous set that I know had gone away and then I guess come back. Or they just reworked it and did this in color. And um, obviously you can see that it's three parts and then you just mix the parts as you want. And there's some ideas back here and there's like an extra little penguin head and you kind of put him where you want so um, this one's really fun and I never got it when it was first out so I had been wanting that one and um, I was the last one there as well as this one and um, it's some really nice sayings to put inside your cards and so I will definitely be using this one and I don't know why I didn't get it the first time I saw it but I'm glad they still had it there so and then I had picked up this pad of paper and I love the tones um, it's really light and I've used it already um, really beautiful colors and they're just very muted anyway it's by Craftsmith and um, the only thing is that I can't get any ink to dry on it. And by any, I mean, well, I haven't tried stays on, but Adirondack, not Adirondack, my gosh, Archival. And um, Archival will dry on glossy, but even heat setting, I couldn't get it dry. So this is like, I just put, um, my pearl over it and it dulled like this was a dark brown so that was a fail but so I just found a um, ultra fine clear and that worked obviously and then I picked up some cutting pads um, because I have given mine a workout for my holiday stuff okay no place to set that over there okay so then my stuff from Terry's is over here of course um, we did get a chance, well, part of it was to, um, play with her brother Scan and Cut 2 that she just got, and that thing is so...
so much fun. Okay, so she gave me some vinyl to use for some faux dories. Look at this one, like the faux alligator print. And here's the nice bright blue. This one I really like. And then here's a dark one. So I'm going to have to try some with that. And then she shared some, um, these are some little twine or ribbon, not really ribbon, but um, these, she bought larger rolls and then she put them on some that she had used. And then this is some elastic. Again, she bought a bigger roll and shared some of that with me. And elastic's a real pain to find. And then this is a washi tape. Tape. So cool. And then this is um, the roof to a house book that she had given me. And then here's a stamp set from Prima. Love it. I love that old typewriter and the car. And um, this one with the torn edge. Always great for masculine stamps. And then the pen nibs. And this is, oh, stamp abilities. So, of course, from Hobby Lobby. And then um, these little snowflakes from um, Dollar Tree. And there's actually six on here. And she says that um, Crafty Irina um, used each of these as an embellishment. So I have to check that out. And this one's clear. One's white and one's clear. And then we did some really cool things with this scan and cut. So um, we stamped this and then cut it out with a .04 border. And you can't really see it, but like there's little tiny dips. And it even cut these little tiny dips around it. And I mean, it is amazingly detailed. This one you might be able to see. It cut around all the little details. It like got that little piece off of the paper. It had a hard time with some of the ones that were really close to the color of the paper. But again, it, it got all the little like um, deckly looking bits off that paper. And then we used a piece of scrap paper and we positioned just a random flower on it and cut that out and then not something else and then um, she's going to do some envelopes for me for some gifts out of wrapping paper and then she had some papers to share with me from Tuesday morning love that these are some beautiful thick craft papers look at that we almost got through and then this one's raised. And then some of the um, uh, ledgers. I always love ledger paper. And of course, script. And music notes. And then the cat one. <laughs> so we had so much fun. Oh my gosh. Her stamp room is amazing. And we almost got away without a cat. Almost got away without a dog event. But no, we had both right at the end. I drug it out too long. Okay, so there you have it. That is my small haul. I'm trying to stay away from the stamp stores. As well as my goodies from my visit to Terry's house. And like I said, we had a really good time. And Terry and her husband, Mike, they always take such good care of me. So I really appreciate that, Terry. And you really should go check out her channel. And um, I will put her name below so you can go check her out. And thank you so much as usual for coming by and visiting my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And thanks for stopping by and have a great day.